Yo, peace and blessings to everybody out there. Happy Wednesday. It's time to continue our conversation about how and where to start seeking God's face. Okay, so one important thing or two important things that God really wants us to have when it comes to us starting to seek his face is prayer plus patience. You can't have prayer without patience and you can't have patience without prayer because when we think of prayer, we think prayer is supposed to happen instantly like we rub on a bottle with a genie and God just give us our three wishes when it's not like that. God can say no to our prayers and God can say yes to our prayers. But one thing you got to understand, they're both always going to be for good reason because some things that we pray for, we always think something that we want is good for us when it's not. Only God knows what's good for us. When he answers yes, it's still for a good reason because that means you deserve it. Either way, it's always going to require patience because, for example, say you pray for strength. He's going to give you obstacles to overcome. Say you pray for wisdom. He's going to give you puzzles to solve. He's going to give you more knowledge in life. He's always going to give you something to build you into that character and to build you into what you are asking for because the devil is the one that just gives it to you. Even though the devil can give you blessings, it can still be a curse because it could be temporary. The devil doesn't deal with anything spiritual. He always deals with something that is carnal. So if you ask for a million dollars through the devil, it can be given to you now. But come, best believe it comes with getting rid of your soul, getting rid of your morality, getting rid of your spiritual uh, knowledge, getting rid of your spiritual energy. But if you ask for it from it for God, he's going to build you to something that's going to make you overcome what you are desiring because most things that we are desiring overcomes us. It turns us into a different person. So that's why you have to build. This is why God says no to some of our prayers. And this is why we have to have patience also because we don't know what the outcome is of what everything that we want in life. And this actually is going to take me into my next video for tomorrow, which is learning how to listen to the devil's voice and God's voice because you need to know who you are talking to in your spiritual mind. Your, the spiritual warfare starts up here. And one last note, and, this, and I say this requires patience because as you are sitting there praying, guess who else is sitting there listening to your prayers? The devil. He's waiting to attack. He's waiting for the opportunity to try to take anything away from you that you want and that God wants to give you. So as he's listening to your plans, you need to be prepared. And this is why God wants patience too, because God knows that the devil is going to attack and he lets the devil attack because it's all a choice. At the end of the day, you can make a choice to stand with the devil or you can make a choice to stand with God through whatever you want. But you got to pick a side because if God intervened with the devil attacking you all the time for the things that you want, you will never truly see the true like human nature of yourself or anybody else about because you got to understand why all these carnal things on earth mess with us and why we want them so bad and why they split us away from God or either bring us closer to God. Because like I said, anybody can have money, power, anything, but it depends on what you do with it at the end of the day. So peace and blessings to everybody out there. Be prepared for the next video tomorrow and I'll catch y'all later.